Good afternoon, Pisces, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to Will's Cartomancy Tarot. What I'd like to do is to just to go on and give you your ex-lover's reading. And ladies and gentlemen, keep in mind that the energies of this reading can go vice versa. It could be either how you're feeling towards your ex or how your ex is kind of feeling towards you. Okay, I've decided to want to use my Lenormand's deck as we see here already shuffled and illustrated. And I've also decided to use a few other um, oracle cards to give you a bit more part and advice into your situation. Pisces, as usual, if you've yet to subscribe to my channel, please take a few moments to do so now. And of course, if you hear the sign of the ex that you're dealing with, all the better. I'm certainly going to call them out. Be sure to like and share if this resonates. Okay. So let's go on and get started. I'm just going to make a few general observations and then we're just going to just go on and dive more deeply into your reading here. Okay. I'm saying here, it looks like in the past here, it certainly seems that recently perhaps that, you know, you actually slept with your ex or you in, or you may be in discussions of doing so now, I'm feeling here. I'm feeling with this bed card here. It certainly shows that someone really wanted to get in bed with you. So it shows that your ex still wants to have sex with you or it could be vice versa. I'm seeing a lot of relationship insecurities in conjunction with you and this ex here. I feel that you guys feel as if you've had some type of a past life connection, okay? Your soulmates, okay? It looks like I'm seeing some type of a separation that has occurred or that will, in fact, occur with you with this ex here. And it looks like that more than likely you're dealing with more than one lover here. I'm also seeing a new person that's kind of or trying to kind of wiggle themselves up into your life as well but you're going to soon have to make a decision here okay i'm also um, seeing a very i'm seeing a lady here okay and i'm going to try to define you know some characteristics of her and females this could be, in fact be what you're going through or a gentleman it could be in fact you know what a, an individual that you're kind of dealing with your ex might be experiencing okay i'm seeing this woman she appears to be in a bit of a crisis drained, very tired. She appears very lonely and hurt, okay? I'm feeling that she's very attractive, confident. She might also even be an opportunist, an opportunist, you know? And I'm seeing she could represent, you know, your wife or even, in fact, a girlfriend here. I'm seeing that she's very motherly, you know, curvy and strong. But again, very draining type personality, very religious and spiritual, perhaps even commitment challenged here. And she might be even facing a period of indecision and, you know, just just feeling that she's promiscuous here. OK, I'm also feeling a, a strong sensation. It doesn't necessarily have to be this woman feeling this way. Looks like it's either you or the ex might be feeling this way. I'm feeling a sense of, of suicidal thoughts, you know, a lot of sadness and nostalgia. I'm also seeing something in conjunction with a funeral. Or some type of an inheritance or something or insurance money that you may have received, okay? Again, I'm still saying that there will be a separation with you and the ex, but I see that you're going to be moving in a new direction here, okay? And I'm feeling that this would be a movement that is going to offer you somewhat of a second chance, okay? I think that you're going to try to get back with this ex, but I don't think it's really going to work out. I think you're going to have to make a decision between someone old and someone new here. To kind of give you a new start. So let's go on and dive right deeply into the reading. Just to see what more we can kind of get out of here. Let's look at the bottom cards here. Okay. The energy. We're going to start with the sun. Okay. And this card, ladies and gentlemen, is all about happiness and victory. And it connects with fire signs. Leo, Aries, Sagittarius. So it shows. The X certainly shows you as being very protective. Captivated. You know, very attractive. And secure. Or you could. Just as easily be feeling this way about the ex. Yet, I'm getting a sense of a feeling of the ex kind of sees you as being boastful or a bragger. A bragger at times here. Okay? Your next card here is the birds. Okay? So, with the birds, Mercury is the ruler of that card and connects with fire signs. Once again, Leo, Aries, Sagittarius. As well as earth signs. Taurus, Virgo, and Capricorn. So, the ex sees you as being very talkative, articulate, you know, and very curious and social, you know, and he or she, you know, finds 
security within you, you know? And then next here we have the storks, okay? Jupiter and Uranus connects with this card. And this card is all about moving, ladies and gentlemen, improving and even upgrading. And so it connects with water signs, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. So the ex sees you as very refined or you could easily be seeing the ex as such, you know? wise you know very distinguished yet a bit flighty at times okay and perhaps sees you as an individual that's trying to kind of change or work through situations here okay so why don't we just go on and combine these cards here just give you a story of the energy that i'm kind of seeing coming towards you i'm feeling with you those three cards is that for many of you your worries are going to certainly be over soon okay I see a rather intense or optimistic relationship coming up, and it appears to be someone new. I don't see it as being your ex here, okay? And some of you will also have a chance to kind of, you know, I, I think you're going you're gonna to be able to reconnect with your ex as well as meeting someone new here. And I'm feeling you're going to be receiving some type of a telephonic communication, either from your ex or even both from this new person, you know? And it seems that it's a call that has been long awaited, that you've really been waiting for for some time. You know, I'm kind of feeling. And when you do finally talk with one another, I'm kind of seeing you pouring your, your souls out to one another and kind of declaring, you know, your love. You know, and I feel that this call is going to be rather steamy. And you'd be wise, ladies and gentlemen, to really trust your gut on this here. And then with having that stork card there, it kind of represents a move or a transition, an upgrade. That's why I kind of feel that if it could potentially be a new person that you, you're going to be meeting. Just as well as I feel you and the ex will some type, make some type of concessions to kind of try to make an attempt to improve your circumstances, although it may not work. But I see that you're, you're going to at least make the attempt here. Now, with this person that's coming into your life, I'm going to try to give you a description. He or she appears to be slender. I'm, I'm feeling tall. You know, very sophistic, sophisticated type person, very sharp eyes. The person might be involved in, you know, sales or, you know, social work or maybe they may do some PR work or, or might be some type of a counselor of some sort, okay? And I'm feeling that they are kind of well known. I'm getting here. They may work in, it looks like a high type position, you know, like a management or with the government or even as a director, but they seem very bubbly, you know, very happy, um, go lucky type person, if you will. Okay. So let's go on and get in your cards here that reflects the past or what you might be in process of already experiencing here. Okay. We have the bed card. So we already know that this is certainly a sex card there. So it certainly shows that the ex certainly wants sex with you, you know, and it connects with water signs, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. And the next card is the cross. Pluto or Neptune connects with that card and it represents fire signs, Leo, Aries, Sagittarius. So it shows the ex sees you as being a bit depressed or ex him or herself could be perceived as such. Very guilty and lonely, you know, very needy and like a whiner. Okay, and then we have the bouquet. Okay, Venus is the ruler and it connects with earth signs. Okay, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. The ex sees you as a very exotic, charming, attractive, as well as handsome here. Okay, and then the next card, we have the market card, which is an addition to the standard Lenormus cards because only 36 cards usually appear in each Lenormus deck, but this one has 40, okay? So that connects with fire signs. Leo, Aries, Sagittarius. So th this card shows the ex is seeing you as being career focused, even to the point of perhaps being a workaholic for some of you. Okay. And we have the dog here, there. Venus connects with that card and um, represents water signs, Cancer, Pisces, and Scorpio. And always remember the dog here always personifies some type of an ex here. Okay. So the ex sees you as being stable you know, friendly and dependable here. And next to this dog, we have the woman, okay? So ladies, this, this woman could in fact represent you. It could represent the wife or the mistress of your ex or gentlemen, it could represent your female lover, 
But the ruler of this card is the moon and it connects with air signs. Libra, Gemini, and Aquarius. And next to that we have the clover. Jupiter rules this card and connects once again the fire signs. Leo, Aries, Sagittarius. So the clover always brings about opportunity, okay? And so the X sees you or you could perhaps see the X as a risk taker. Even as a gambler, as someone that's very open-minded here, okay? And then your next card here is the heart, which is your significant. So what we're going to do, we're going to take a step back and I'm just going to give you a consolidated story of what I'm kind of seeing that you may have already experienced or, ladies and gentlemen, what you might be in process um, of experiencing here. So it looks like you and the ex might have already had sex, I'm, I'm feeling. But things came up and kind of caused the two of you to kind of separate, perhaps due to you know, cheating and deception. Ladies and gentlemen, however, despite any obstacles to your success, I see you receiving or you will receive a, some type of a gift I'm kind of giving. And I feel that the ex looks like they want to surprise you, perhaps with a gift of money or perhaps a gift of some sort. And you will reconcile and you reconcile your differences or you will be in the process of doing so. So those cards up here kind of suggesting you to kind of stay positive and I kind of see you recapturing that called nine feeling but looking at your cards that are kind of coming up between in your future I'm still feeling that you're going to be very very indecisive and you're going to vacillate between do you want this or you don't okay so let's go on to your future cards here these are your future cards so let's start off with the bear Jupiter is the ruler of this card and it's it's connected with earth signs, okay? Cancer, Pisces, I mean, I'm sorry, Capricorn, Taurus, as well as Virgo. And it shows that the ex sees you as being very strong, very controlling. You might even see the ex as such overbearing. You know, I'm seeing a very strong type frame here. It could be someone very athletic or even a bodybuilder or someone who works in the gym here, I'm getting. And I also see someone that's overweight as well, okay? The next card we have is a coffin. So, of course, we know that the coffin is all about things that are negative, ladies and gentlemen. And Pluto rules this card. Fire signs are denoted, okay? Leo, Aries, Sagittarius. So, once again, it, it further emphasizes the fact that either the ex is seeing you as being depressed or negative, or you're seeing him or her as such. And this card gives a sense of kind of an individual being forced to kind of redirect their lives due to changes. You know that have come about an individual that is very glum you know a person who has a low self-esteem is what all captures within this card here okay next we have the tree so the sun and the south lunar nodes connect with this card okay karma okay and so water signs are denoted okay scorpio pisces cancer so the show's ex seeing you as very spiritual, religious. You know, even some of you might even eat healthy. You know, you're very grounded. And some of you might even be a nurse or, in fact, work in the medical field or your ex might, okay? And then the last normal card here, we have the crossroad road here. So Uranus connects with this card and is associated with air signs, okay? Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. So it shows a sense of the ex seeing you as being a bit hesitant, uncertain, or you're seeing the ex as such. Or some of you might even be going through a midlife crisis and the ex sees you perhaps as a devil talk or you perhaps might even be seeing the ex as bisexual or the ex may see you as such, okay? You know, someone that's always on the go, someone that's very unfaithful is the essence of this card here, okay? So it looks like here, well, just, you know, kind of looking at your uh, your reading here, just to go on and try to give you a more consolidated story here. I feel here that you're certainly, you're going to want to fall in love here. I'm seeing a very generous, wealthy type lover here, you know. And, but I'm seeing that there seems to be some domination in your relationship that I feel is going to cause a, another separation of some from your ex or from someone i'm feeling it's your ex here that i'm kind of getting here you know but i feel that you're going to still feel the person your ex is your soulmate so you'll wait and see how the ball is going to bounce here 
But in the final analysis, ladies and gentlemen, a new opportunity, as I said, will present itself with the bottom energies of these cards here. And lo and behold, it certainly is a new love here. A new person is kind of coming up into your life here, ladies and gentlemen. And guess what? The situation could, in fact, involve marriage that I'm kind of getting here. So you're going to have to make a decision, ladies and gentlemen, because the ex still has another. And, of course, you have someone that you're interested in. It's like this duplicitous type situation. And it's a non-committal type situation. So many of you need to decide and stop vacillating and really make a decision on what would be your you know, your best approach or what would be your best decision to kind of get you forward to the place that you would want to get to, okay? So let's examine a few other cards here, okay? We have this symbolism here. So with that card, that means that when it comes, ladies and gentlemen, to the matters of the heart here, there's understand that there's really no right or wrong answer in every choice because you're a decision-making mode. But every choice you make expands your understanding, ladies and gentlemen. Of life and love here you know and with this card it's more of a soulmate energy here so with this card you know honor the place in one another where you are one eternal soul ladies and gentlemen okay for there you truly will find bliss and keep in mind try to love in spite of it all you know try to kind of stop thinking about a lot of negative feeling you know and always remember that Love, ladies and gentlemen, doesn't have to be to mean near, right? And what I mean that by this is that, you know, some are better love at a distance, okay? And this might be telling you about your ex. Sometimes you just might need to love someone who has hurt you at from a distance and just move forward. You know, at least for a while anyway, you know? Because really, love doesn't really know the difference whether you've taken a break or not, does it? Okay. And also with this new person, I think you should try to get to know each other and learn to meet another's, your, your, your new lover's need for love, okay? And understand, ladies and gentlemen, that love certainly endures. Love does not give up, and it certainly does not lose faith. Love is hopeful, and it certainly withstands every situation there is. And understand, too, that Connecting more so with your cards here, luck is in fact on your side and continue to hold your vision. So ladies and gentlemen, this is what I have for you. I certainly hope that this reading has offered food for thought. Be sure to like and share, subscribe, and be over to send me over a comment. If you like a more personal reading, you can contact me at wat61073 at gmail.com. Enjoy your day.